Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my reaction video to Colchester United vs Tramurers on the 23rd of March 2021 at the JobServe Arena Stadium at uh, Colchester United Stadium. The game was 2-2. Tramway Rovers, the game, they're a nightmare at times, but I love them at times, I, I, I love them, but flipping hell, they scared me, and yeah, so I will talk about that during the video, so talking about the game, I will do my team news, and yeah, S Scotty in goal, Sc Scott Davis in goal, Liam Rydal, Manny Montfey, Peter Clark, Cal McDonald, Jay Sparing, Kevin Morris, Liam Feeney, Otis Khan, Paul Lewis, Danny Lloyd, and the subs were Joe Murphy, Charlie Jolly, Sid Nelson, Nye Kirby, Jake Burton, Ali Crawford and David Nugent. So going through the game, Tramures were the better team first off. Throughout the first 15 20 minutes, yeah, we were good, we were consistent, we were playing really well, and then with the amount of chances we had were fantastic. And then going into the 30th minute mark, um, a great ball from um, uh, Brown who plays for Colchester, and then Harry Pell gets a nick on the end of it, and obviously they score. It was a lucky goal, really lucky goal, and they're 1-0 up. And I'm fuming because the amount of chances we had to score, we hit the bar in the first half. We had a shot from Danny Lloyd, and honestly, it should, it should have been 1-0 at that, then, and then obviously maybe 1-1. One, one. But then we had chances. Lewis having a header, a great save from the keeper. Obviously, Lewis has to score him. In my eyes, he has to score. And yeah, it's just one of them days we just could not score in the first half. But yeah, it's just one of them games in it. But yeah, the way we played, first off we were fantastic. And then obviously Colchester scoring, it was a lucky goal. Obviously, they were obviously up for it. And obviously when they scored, they, they were playing well in the first half. And then just before going in, then just before going in the second half, Tromi have a chance to try and get a goal back in it, but obviously they, they don't. Um, then I think there was um, Nugent came on in the second half to try and change the game, obviously try and get a goal. And then in the 55th minute, um, Harry Powell crosses the ball and then just passes it to Sarpong Wired, however you say his name, but yeah. It's a foreign name probably, but yeah, 2 0 Colchester. I was absolute fuming. And I was like thinking, I was raging as fuck. I really was like, oh, could not give a shit anymore. I was literally throwing my phone around everything and I was fucking raging. But yeah, then I was like thinking, oh, I can't be arsed with this. Next minute, try me after the, after, after, um, Dan Lord gets us a penalty, obviously one of their players handball it, trying to score to make it 2-1. But from uh, after we scored the penalty, we were on fire, the way we played, and we should have won the game. And then in the 67th minute, a great pass from Paul Lewis, and then Spain just has a, a volley from about 30 yards. What a goal! And I just literally lost my shit when we scored. Um, we just put pressure on them. They put pressure on us. And obviously, the amount of chances Colchester had, they should have won about 4 or 5 2. Honestly, they were the better team today. And to be honest, we were just lucky, I think, in my eyes. But yeah, we need to be more better. And we need to. The defence today was absolute shite. And I don't normally say that, but we worked. Terrible. All the defence, Manny, Manny, Clark, Rides, and McDonald, they were all shit from the 
from the game from the start to the sixty second and then you start to play some actually decent football. And obviously playing half for half an hour and we're playing good football. Obviously really good passing and everything trying to get it out but then but then near the end um Trammy Rivers were just on it honestly we're getting creating chances and then obviously Nia Kirby comes on and Ali Crawford, I thought Ali Crawford played really well in the second half. Obviously trying to create a chance, obviously to try and get a goal. And Nia Kirby came on. Nia Kirby hits the post in the 91st or second minute. I was like thinking, I was like, oh my God, we should have won the game. But um, uh, Colchester were absolute outstanding today. They should have had about five or six today, but they didn't. They did not take their chances. And obviously, from where they are in the league, I think they are 23rd in the league. No, not 23rd, 22nd, I think, or 21st. Because obviously, because they... I think they were like two... Two um, um, two, the, two teams below, uh, above other teams because the way they were winning at that time... And obviously, Tramia get a goal. And obviously, if we scored in the 93rd minute, 92nd minute, it would have been a crazy game. I and mean, it would have been a good video, personally, but we get a draw. We are now on 62 points. And it's just one of them. Getting the draw against Grimsby. Awful. Played awful. And... The last half an hour in this game, we're the better team. But we should but we played well in the first half. And then obviously when they score, it's one of them. But yeah. Fair play to Colchester. Obviously playing that's probably been their best game that they've had since December. But obviously because they haven't won a game since December and obviously that still continues. Obviously they're getting draws, but they're not getting wins. So yeah. It's a point that try me it's a point it's a point lost uh, two points lost probably but yeah we could have gone third but we're on the same point as Forest Green. Forest Green play Bolton on Saturday at twelve o'clock and we've got Mansfield. That is a massive game and I really don't know where my head's gonna be when we play personally. We're not the greatest at home at the moment. But we need to be more consistent. And if we want to win the game, obviously, with um, Kane Woolery not playing because I think he got rested, was rested, which he deserves to be rested because of the amount of games he's played. And obviously, I don't know where um, Corey Blackett Taylor was. I don't know if he's had an argument with the manager or anything. But yeah, personally, I can see him gone at the end of the season. But yeah, I will be doing my preview for. Tramios against Mansfield on Thursday, so I will be doing that. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. So for next time, I'll see you guys in a bit. So all the rights, can we get a win on Saturday against Mansfield? Massive game against um, Mansfield, but yeah, we go again. All the rights, come on, you boys. Can we get promotion? Can we get promoted this season? We will find out by the end. By the end of May the 8th, I think it is, the last game of the season. So, yeah, we play Colchester last game of the season, I think. So, yeah, otherwise, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out. Goodbye.